Let's go, boys. You see the text. It's another absolute meat lock. And you hear the sizzle. And although we're coming off a loss, it's an absolute no-brainer lock in this one. When we got our boy fight out of Mahashkala, Russia. Magomed Ankalaev, 15-1, taking on Volkan Uzdemir, a.k.a. No Time. And it's a very tough matchup for No Time Uzdemir. And the last time we saw him was against Yuri Prohaska. And Yuri just put his lights out. And it was really kind of tough to watch Volkan just absolutely thrown to the wolves and Dana and company is doing him no favors in this one when he's forced to take on Magami who's just on a fat win streak the guy's 14 and 1 overall and you know we mentioned every single time Magomed fights but that one loss came in the final second of a fight against Paul the Bear Jew Craig in a fight where Paul Craig was getting absolutely dismantled for 14 minutes and 59 seconds it it was just absolutely bizarre how Paul Craig won that fight and that is the lone blemish on Magomed's record so we're super bullish on Magomed in this spot. He has an opening uh, UFC pay-per-view uh, main card position. So they're obviously bullish that he's going to perform in this one as well. So what are your thoughts? Why are you so bullish on Magomed in this one? Do you think Uzdemir is going to present any problems? And how do you think uh, ultimately that Ankalab gets this done? Yeah, I, so I, I truly think... Uh... Mago Me is going to be he's inevitable to become the next champion. Um I, I really think at two oh five he's going to dominate. I cannot wait to see him versus Jury and Jan Blahovic um and those other top fighters because I I think I'm gonna take him in those, even though those are very close fights, but I truly think this guy is gonna be you know the the islam um of the light heavyweight division i mean he's just on a, such an other level he's been absolutely smashing his opponents he did have that little hiccup versus uh you know paul craig but he was smashing that whole fight till he got uh you know submitted um and i think vulcan is going to get finished just like jury ko'd him i think mago meat is going to finish this very quickly um i think uh, Vulcan is way too slow. Magomed is way too strong. He's too fast. His fight IQ is out the door for a two of fiver, to be honest. Um, I get a little John Jones vibe on the skill set. We're like, I truly think that this guy is going to be that next, um, you know, world champion, uh, goat status person. Um, I mean, that's how I, I'm very bullish on him. I think this is an absolute lock and I don't, I think Vulcan's kind of on his way out, to be honest. Um, he was on a, a little fight win streak, got the two nice wins, one mm -hmm. KO versus uh, Latifi, which was that was nice, and then a split, you know, somewhat won the fight versus Ray Kick, and then got dropped by our boy Jury. So, I don't know. I think he's going to get dropped real quick again because Magomi is taking heads nowadays. He really is. And, you know, that fight against uh, Alexander Rakic for no time Uzdemir was razor thin. A lot of people thought that Rakic won that fight. So, you know, it's tough to attach too, too much to it. And it's just fascinating to see the UFC giving him Rakic and then Jiri and now Magomed. Like, I don't know who Volkan Uzdemir pissed off at the UFC, but uh, it's murderer's row for no time Uzdemir. And if we look over at Tapology, 91% is rolling with Mago Meat. They think that he's most likely to get this one done by KO. There's a, probably about 54% bullish on that Brown. So do you think that Uncle is going to get the finish? And if so, is it going to be pretty early, similar to uh, how Jiri did it? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be quick first, maybe second round. Because, oh, I mean, Vulcan's still an OG. He is a veteran. This is definitely a a tough test for Magomed. I mean, this Vulcan's no joke in a fighter. It's not going to be an easy layup, but I think Magomed's going to make it look easy because I really think he is the real deal. I think he is that Islam, the Hamzat, the Khabib of 205. Yeah, I'm just so glad that they're, you know, that they stuck him on this card, you know, a free card afternoon. It's going to get so many eyes and a lot of people are going to be awakened to Magomed Ankalaev, you know, similar to how we've been, uh, you know, familiarized with Hamzad and Jiri of last year. I think Magomed's the next one on that list. So we're super bullish on this meat lock. We're going to be throwing down a cool 620 at minus 350 Mago meat odds. It's going to net 177.14. Uh, should get us our 34th meat lock. And uh, just a hell of a way to kick off what is just ultimately a card filled with lock after lock and banger after banger. So any last thoughts uh, on this meat lock meat? No, like you said, this is an insane card. Can't wait. Um, yeah, I'm glad you know, we're kicking it off with this one. Absolute meat lock. And really, this is just tendies for the boys, but this is one of the most locks with the best mm -hmm. odds in our opinion, so that's where we're picking it. But 
bunch of locks this card just the odds aren't as juicy but nonetheless we are taking mago meat for this meat lock and uh take it to the bill and get the grill <laughs>